Now for this VT, we have the power system voltage as V and the secondary voltage as V dash at which the relay operates. Now we assume for voltage transformers that the secondary number of turns are very small compared to the primary uh, number of turns. So ideally we assume that the secondary number of turns is one and if the primary number of turns is n, then n by one equals v by v dash. In the sense that um, v dash equals one by n into v. So this is for the voltage transformer. For the current transformer, it's the other way because uh, the primary number of turns is assumed to be one and secondary number of turns are n. That is primary number of turns um, is very small when compared to the secondary number of turns. And here the secondary is short circuited, assumed to be ideally short circuited, and here the secondary is um, uh, assumed to be ideally open circuited or having uh, infinite impedance. Now let's see some um, differences between uh, CTs and VTs, uh, the features of uh, CTs and VTs. Regarding the uh, core, the core is usually built up with uh, lamination of silicon steel uh, in current transformer and in a potential transformer it is made up of uh, high quality steel operating at uh, low flux densities. Uh, then as I already told you primary winding carries the current uh, which is to be measured uh, in a CT and the primary winding of a VT uh, carries uh, the, the voltage uh, which is to be measured. The secondary winding is connected to the current winding of the instrument. Uh, that means the, the in, in a CT. Then uh, in potential transformer it is connected to the meter or the instrument. Now regarding connection, uh, the current transformer is connected in series. Obviously, it is connected in series with the instrument and a potential transformer is connected in parallel with the instrument. Now coming to the primary circuit, uh, primary circuit has a small number of turns in CT. Uh, the primary circuit has a large number of turns in uh, PT or the voltage transformer. The secondary circuit has a large number of turns and um, it cannot be open circuited in a uh, current transformer and uh, the secondary circuit of a potential transformer has a small number of turns and it can be uh, open circuited. Now the range of voltage uh, for current transformer is 5 amperes to 1 ampere, 5 amperes or uh, 1 ampere um, and the, for the potential transformer it is uh, normally 110 volts. The transformation ratio N1 by N2 is high for a current transformer and for a potential transformer the uh, N1 by N2 ratio is low. Now regarding the burden, um, um, the CT has, uh, CT does not depend on the secondary burden, but uh, uh, for a PT it depends on the secondary burden. Secondary burden in the sense the uh, sensing device impedance. Uh, it can be a relay, okay, uh, which we have already seen. Now um, Input. Input is a constant current for CT and input is a constant voltage for PT. Now uh, the full line current, the primary winding uh, consists of the full line current in the CT. Um, the primary winding consists of the full line voltage in the uh, PT. Uh, basically two types are there for uh, CT, um, the wound and the closed core and in, in PTs, we have two types, electromagnetic and capacitor voltage. We'll see the uh, uh, classification of uh, VTs and CTs uh, based on its uh, construction in the coming lectures. And CT is normally low impedance and PT is high impedance. Uh, applications we already know, uh, measuring the current and power, monitoring the power grid operation uh, for operation of protective relay for CT, measuring current and power, then uh, monitoring the power grid operation for operating the protective relay. Um, for PT also, measurement is the purpose, um, measurement of the, I mean, the power source, and the, uh, it is also used for operating the protective relay. 